Hi, everyone. We're coming to you live on 2K Sports, bringing you the NBA. I'm Kevin Harlan. We've got Steve Smith and Greg Anthony alongside. And our sideline reporter tonight, David Aldridge. DA, it's all yours. Thank you, Kevin. LeBron James is tied for the third most MVP awards all time. He's also tied for the most second place finishes. Frank Vogel said it's a mistake to go season after season without voting the best player in the league as MVP. LeBron says, I should have more than four, but I don't cry about it. I bet a lot of the greats feel the same. Kevin? They probably do, and we certainly know how LeBron feels. David, thank you. Two very athletic teams here, Greg. A game that's sure to produce a lot of highlights. And makes me think of Stacy Arvin, one of the greatest athletes I ever played alongside. And now the Lakers starting group. They've got LeBron James. He's out there with Malik Monk. And it's Westbrook in at the point. And for the Raptors, Barnes and Siakam are the forward. Guard spots filled by Van Vliet and Trent. And it's Achua in at the five. And so off the tip, it's Toronto. Van Vliet kicks to Trent. Van Vliet outside. Barnes finds Achua. Kicks it out to Van Vliet. Down to five on the shot clock. A dunk by Achua. And the D getting out work there on the putback. Can't let that happen. For some reason, blocking out has become a lost art, and that's the result you'll get. Now here's Westbrook. Pass to Gabriel. James trying to free himself up. That shot is off. Great D that time from Van Vliet. Siakam passes to Van Vliet. About one minute into the first quarter. Down low. Here's a two-up. Gabriel with the rebound. And you're just not going to see him do that very often. Usually when he rises up, there's a guarantee it's going down. Now here's Westbrook. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. And the defense should know Westbrook will not back down. He goes right into the defender and gets a chance for an end one. And he's got his first chance at the line here. You know, this is not an area where they expect him to contribute. You know, he's a guy that shot below 70% last season. And that one falls for Westbrook. And now in the second half of his career, Russell Westbrook wants rings. He knows he's getting older and has no time to waste. It's why he plays with such passion. Trent can't hit. Not the efficient start they were hoping for. Only one for four from the field. Ron right side. Ball stolen. Trent, up top. Van Fleet against Westbrook, and it's good for two. And Westbrook's high motor is why we love him. He goes out, Greg, and competes every play in every game. Uh, no doubt, but I tell you what, he's tired of missing out on the NBA Finals. This is a guy that is hungry to get back to that stage. It'll be interesting to see if he can get it done. Yep, that one goes. Good defense, better offense. Through hard work, Seattle has become a number one scoring option. Outside Westbrook. Here's Reeves, defended by Trent. And I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. The Lakers have shot just one free throw earlier. One for one in the game. And team stats last season. 74% shooting, so some numbers that they can definitely improve upon. And the 
and the first one at the line is good. And the Lakers making a change here. Howard's checked in. And he makes both free throws. He's living there tonight, a tough guy to guard without fouling. And the bonus, he's going to knock him down. Van Vliet on the wing. He's covered by Westbrook. Count that one from Van Vliet. What a fearless competitor Van Vliet is. Figures out ways to score inside while being covered. LeBron against Siakam. Los Angeles with another miss. Once he gets the ball there, you expect him to capitalize. That was a missed opportunity. And so James will bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. They trail by three. Here's Westbrook. Good, and the assist goes to LeBron. Westbrook's got five now. It's empowering to play with LeBron because if you get open, he will find you. Westbrook against Van Vliet. Siakam deciding where to go with it. Oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. Here's Van Vliet. Here's Achua. The dunk by Achua. And the second chance becomes a dunk. We could feel over here. GA such a good, aggressive play in the paint. Now, here's Westbrook. Five points in the game. Power oh, good. Assisted. Capable of racking Russell up Westbrook. assists. Westbrook has a feel for when his guys are open. Van Vliet against Howard. And it's sent back by Howard. Hands are the ball out of bounds. Howard touched it last. And now, another look at that mobile one block defensive performance. And making a statement right away, letting them know they won't get any easy ones when he's around. Some changes for Toronto. Kim Birch comes in for Achua, and it's Young in for Pascal Siakam. Fifty-two seconds left in the first quarter of the game. And he's frustrated. That's a shot he can make in his sleep. Van Vliet against Augustine. No luck that time in the shot that would have put them on top. Raptors with the lead. Pass to Van Vliet. 27 seconds left in the first quarter. Count the basket. Man, have they been effective at getting the ball inside. Now, here's Monk. Guarded close. Howard in the post. Heard by Birch. Two points. That one goes. And really, there's no reason why Howard can't at least be boxed out when he comes up with these rebounds. It's night-night for the defense. Here's Barnes, and that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle. Two shots coming up. Yeah, just nice first, strength there, first and foul. then just off first team with a shot. Toronto shooting their first free At throws. At the line for Toronto. Scotty Barnes. At the line for two. Shooting two. And that one misses. Well, pro probably a little draft in the arena tonight. He's the last guy you expect to miss the mark by that much. Absolutely. And he can't hit the second. So at the end of one quarter of play, still a close game. Toronto ahead, leading by just one. We'll be back shortly, live from Toronto.
it's been a pretty even game here after one quarter of play. What do you guys think about the Raptors here in this one? Way to set the table. Offensively, they dominated on the interior. They came in looking to attack from the get-go, willing to be physical and setting the tone. Here's Monk. No points in the game yet for him. We've got Barnes. Kim Birch is out there with Young. Then it's Fred Van Vliet. That's the group for Toronto to start the second quarter. Howard kicks to Monk. And he gets the whistle for the three-second goal. And we all know that star players get a few more perks, but Greg Dent can also stir up misgivings in a locker room when things aren't always equal. Kevin, it's a great point, and, and coaches really have to be careful. If you're holding one player accountable and giving another a pass, that tends to lead to a fractured locker room. And he drops in the way up off the glass. Van Vliet! Van Vliet's got the lead up to three now for the Raptors. Built to take as much punishment as you want to dish out. Fred Van Vliet not phased by a physical D. Bradley deciding where to go with it. And he hits it to tie the game up. Bradley's got himself on the board with three there. The D just sagged off just enough and no hesitation on his part. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Anthony Davis, of course, is a superstar at both ends of the court. Brown James says his ability to guard anybody on the floor, one through five, take the challenge to guard on the perimeter, and continue to protect the paint. It's hard to score on him. Defense is guys. PA is a lead in every way. That's his first. Sir, he first team foul. First team foul. All right, we'll take a look at now at how the points have been Toronto. generated so far. A scoring breakdown for Toronto. Shooting the hustle they're showing on the offensive glass has been excellent so far. Those putbacks always pay off. Yeah, and one thing, Clark, I've noticed is how quick their hands have been tonight. Thanks to that, they've gotten a lot of points off of turnover. That's good from Young. And very quietly, Young just continues to be an efficient player. A multi-talented swingman who does a little bit of everything. Now here is Augustine. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Great D that time from Van Vliet. Raptors leading by three. And Steve, along with everything else he does, Van Vliet's effectiveness as a playmaker is key for this team. It is, Kevin. He makes great reads. He makes the right pass. And he doesn't turn the ball over. I like how Fred Van Vliet stays patient. Eyes up, finds the breakdown in the defense. Bradley dishes to Johnson. Howard, the pass to Augustine. Pass to the hoop. This will blow. His bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. Personal foul. Yeah, how about that one? Able to maintain at control the for the and finish the play. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Shooting and and over the course of last year, he was up over 90%. And with a stroke like that, you see why. Chris Boucher is checked in for Toronto. Pascal Siakam comes in for Young. And then for the Lakers, LeBron comes in for Dwight Howard. And Russell Westbrook subbed in for Bradley. And we're about two minutes into the second quarter here. Van Vliet looking around. That's good. Basket number five on a five for eight night shooting. Hard to play better defense. Fred is used to overcoming challenges from this area. LeBron passes to Gabriel. Stolen by Van Vliet. And here in the second quarter of action with a hair under two and a half minutes played so far. And the shot goes in. A nice move to create a gap there in the defense and get to the bucket. Lakers trail by seven. Now Westbrook. Five points in the game. Johnson outside. Back to Westbrook. Just five on the clock. Goes up on the high post. And he comes up with the deuce. 
Westbrook's got seven. He's just so versatile. I mean, Westbrook can go to the hole, bring it back out for three. Or in that case, just rise and fire for mid-range. So, timeout called here. The first for Toronto. One of the big surprises with the NBA draft, the trade of Russell Westbrook. Westbrook let it be known he was open to another move. And it'll be interesting to see how he fits next to LeBron and AD this season. He's checked in for the Raptors. Trent comes in for Barnes. Three minutes of action so far in the second quarter. Van Vliet with the bucket. Van Vliet! Van Vliet's got the lead up to seven now for the Raptors. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. James in the post. Covered by Ajua. He gets that one. The raw power of James excels at taking on physical defense and finishing. Here's Van Vliet. No good on the shot. Westbrook with the nice D there. And it's Westbrook with the ball. He brings it up for the Lakers. And Boucher sends it back. Trent passes to Van Vliet. 11 left in the first half of basketball. Right on the bucket. He has six. And they're beginning to just flat out Frank, fall apart defensively six. right now, especially on the interior. James outside. Again, James missing. Toronto leading by seven. Siakam with it. Now guarded by Monk. Trent can't hit. They can trade two for one here. Would be the right move, I believe, right now. A shot's good for Monk. And he's far he from the biggest player, but Monk knows he has what it takes to score from there. They double team Van Vliet, and James picks up the foul. That's his first foul. Personal foul. Second team foul. now. It's a five-point game. Here's Trent. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Van Vliet finds Siakam. Shot clock reset for Toronto. I love the determination he showed. They're getting himself into good position under the glass. With the presence of mind to know just where the rebound was going to come down. Well timed. James looking it over. The shot. And misses it off the right side of the rim. And so it's the Toronto Raptors bringing the quarter to a close with a seven-point lead. And they've done a phenomenal job down low. So many of their points coming right at the rim. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks. Coach, what's stopped you from getting what you want? Well, they're just a great defensive team. You know, we're not handling our pressure well enough. We're trying, to, we're trying to work. Thanks so much, David. And we'll step away briefly, but get you right back out here for the start of the third quarter. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Fred Van Vliet has been the story in this one. He had 12 points, two assists, and one rebound. When does this guy cool off? And we've got third quarter of basketball for you, two quarters in the books. Fred Van Vliet has been sensational. Well, we'll find out if they were able to find an answer 
for him over the break. He was scoring with ease in that first half. I think both sides probably adjusted a few things. The key for him is to bring the same level of energy over these last two quarters. Taking a look at Los Angeles. LeBron James is out there with Malik Monk. Then there's Russell Westbrook. And it's Gabriel in at the center position. Now, here's Trent. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Back to Van Vliet. Shot clock at five. The Raptors need to get a shot up. Here's a two up. And they recover it. Trent kicks to Barnes. Tries again. Not enough on that one as it misses. Lakers trailed by five. Monk with the ball, with the shot, and it's Van Vliet with the rebound. Decent look for mid-range, but there may have been a better option for them in that set. And along with production, this team really thrives on Van Vliet's leadership. He sets a great example with his toughness, his dedication, and his teammates believe in him and believe they're going to win, partly because of him. Now, here's a chewer. Here's Trent. Good, and Van Vliet gets the assist. Trent's got the lead up to eight now for the Raptors. High offensive IQ. He makes great reads and adjustments on the fly. Siakam against James. And if you let the little guy get airborne before you slide over to block him out, he can and will embarrass you on the boards. Back to Van Vliet. Here's Siakam, and the rejection by James. Impeccable timing on the rejection. You better watch out when LeBron is around. It's been their Achilles heel defensively. They just have not been able to control that backboard. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Alden. Thank you, Kevin. As NBA revenues climb into tens of billions of dollars, teams have even more resources to compete. Staffs are growing with more coaches, trainers, and specialists, so general managers have more to manage than ever. Generally, the best organizations are those that effectively collaborate and communicate across the board. Kevin? And DA, as we know, that's always been the case. Thank you. Toronto calls timeout. And this is year one of LeBron's two-year $85 million extension. And, Greg, that will take him through age 38. And that will amount to $435 million in career earnings, the most all-time. And it wouldn't surprise me if he's got a few more years left in the tank after that. Two and a half minutes played here in the second half. Barnes looking around. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Augustine passes to Westbrook. Now here is Augustine. Defended by Trent. Toronto foul. Gary Trent Jr. That's his second personal foul. The Lakers have looked good at the line. Today. They're perfect at in four the line for the Lakers. DJ on two. At the line for two. Shoot two. Free throw drops for Augustine. Bradley's checked in for Los Angeles. Right. 
Both free throws. Good from Augustine. And Toronto has possession. They've led by as much as 10. Young outside. Monk defending. The rebound by Johnson. Lakers trail by six. We've got 155 left to play in the third. Augustine passes to Howard. From down in the low post, it goes. Howard's got six. You gotta feed Howard the rock when he's in the paint. He commands the ball whenever he has that kind of position. The pass to Young. Lays it up and in on the nice reverse. He has five. And the combination of his quickness and soft touch around the rim really allows him to pull off shots like that. A lot of players don't have the reverse in their arsenal. Now, here's Howard. He's got six. Gary, and Gary Trent gets the whistle that time. That's his third, That's his third foul of the game. Second. I mean, I like the call. I thought the defense was just there a little late. And the Raptors making a change here. Boucher has checked in. Howard with it. Covered by Birch. Lock at six. Here's Monk. Here he goes. And the shot goes down. Monk's got his second bucket of the night. And how committed is Monk there on the attack to the rim? When, when he puts it on the deck, he's looking to take it all the way. Good. Yeah. And the Raptors lead by six. Yeah. And after really leaning on that three-point shot in the first half, seeming like they're uh, just getting away from it here in the second. More of the shots coming from the interior. Now, here's Howard. Kicks to Augustine. Thirty-four seconds left here in the third quarter. Can't get it to fall. And, and they continue to control the glass. Which is shots good. I mean, every time down the floor, this is what you're trying to do. Find the right matchup. Outside Brent. Johnson, the pass to Howard. There's 14 seconds left in the third. Here's Augustine. It's blocked. And that's out of bounds. Okay. The Lakers will retain Lakers possession. Ball. Lakers substitution. Nine seconds left in the third quarter of the game. Lock it two. And Bradley gets it to go. Avery Bradley is very comfortable from this range, making it look too easy. And so it's Toronto with their lead standing at six points here at the end of the quarter. Their defensive mindset clearly focused on... Well, what a terrific game it's been so far with this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. Here's Van Vliet. Achua is out there with Chris Boucher. Then it's Pascal Siakam. Then it's Barnes, and it's Van Vliet in at the point guard position. That's the five out there for the Raptors. Pass to Boucher. Four on the clock. Back to Van Vliet. And here's Bradley. The ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Boucher. His shot was hindered by that momentous mobile one block. And a block like that sends a message. One that says we're not giving up this lead. Russell Westbrook's checked in for Stanley Johnson. Westbrook. On defense, the Raptors. LeBron up top, covered by Achua. The layup missed. And they hold a huge advantage on the backboard. On the wing, Barnes. Back to Siakam. 
He hits hold in by Los Angeles. Trying to finish out the game strong. You have to recognize who has the hot hand and get him the ball. Van Vliet outside. Let's a floater go. He lays it in. Van Vliet's got the first basket as we get going in the fourth for the Raptors. And what's your take, guys, in the hustle stats for the Raptors? They've been playing such pesky defense. It's been very impressive, especially all the turnovers they've caused. And also, guys, they take a lot of pride in their ability to rebound the basketball, especially on the offensive end. A for effort, but when there's that much resistance at the rim, better find another option. 13 feet away. Here's Achua, and he lays it straight in. Achua's got the lead up to 10 now for the Raptors. And defensively, guys, they've been unable to shut down the middle. And the double by James. Very athletic move by LeBron on the slam, showing the defense he still can be unstoppable. To the inside. And that's out of bounds. Oh, Toronto will retain possession. Trent's checked in for Chris Boucher. Malik Monk, he's checked in for the Lakers. And here are the Raptors now. A great fourth quarter, just giving up two points. Six to shoot. Lost to Van Vliet. Launches a three. That counts. He's put up 13 shots, and he's had eight of those go in. Playing at his tempo, his pace, he's been dialed in all night. Here's Westbrook. Score the bucket. He's made five so far, shooting a very clean five of seven. Absorbing contact so well. I mean, you really got to hit Westbrook if you want to stop him from scoring. On the wing, Barnes. Over Monk. Barnes can't get it to go. Lakers trailed by nine. To the paint. Here's Gabriel. He dishes it to James. Passes it to Westbrook. Blanketed by the D, he fights to the rim for the layup. Westbrook's got four points now in the quarter. Strong defense on Westbrook. It's a double-edged sword, though. He sees the challenge and just wants to attack. Barnes, right side. Lakers foul. Wendell Gabriel. That's his first personal foul. He hits the first one first and then foul. stretches their lead to eight. At the, line the Lakers making a switch here. Howard's checked Scotty in. Barnes. Two shots. Second one is good. In both at the line. And it's a nine-point ball game here. Lakers have gone three of six in the field so far in the fourth quarter. Here's Reeves. Defended by Trent. The pass to Reeves. Good. Nice assist from Westbrook. Westbrook's got his third assist on the night. Maybe he's not one of the elite sharpshooters, but even still, that's not a shot that he can afford to get. Here's Barnes. Siakam trying to free himself up. Doesn't get it to drop for him. And so Westbrook will bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. They trail by six. James misses. Hmm, I'm not sure what happened on that play. May have relaxed a little bit once he got to the rim. Here's Barnes. And the Raptors miss again. And when you can't get anything to fall, it definitely gets in your head. And his rhythm has been way off. The goal now might be to get him something easy at the rim so he can just see the ball go in through the net. And that helps. Shooting for Los Angeles. Russell Westbrook. It's the first that brings them within five. Hard to believe that Westbrook is in his 30s. Elite burst. He's still one of the more feared players for opponents. And he is unable to get the second one. 
Lakers. No way he is happy with himself right now. He knows he has to knock every shot down at this point in the game. And the Lakers call time here. They're down by five. There's 38 seconds left in the fourth quarter. What do you think, guys? And they need to use as little time as possible here. If they can get a bucket before the clock hits 24 seconds, they can try for a stop on the next possession. If there's less than 24, then they'll have to foul. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. During that break, Frank Vogel had some real words for his team. He talked about X's and O's, but he also said, hey, guys, we got to trust each other, stick together, and leave it all out on the floor. We'll see if they've got enough left to get over the top, buddy. Okay, David, thanks. And you know Howard wants that responsibility offensively, and that time he comes through for his team. Right side. And he gets Los the whistle. Angeles Two foul. free throws coming up. Malik Knight. That one on Monk. his first personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for Toronto. Scotty Barnes taking two shots. One boy, he wanted that one to fall. That's good. Going one or two from the line, and that yeah, gives them a four-point cushion. Yeah. And the Lakers call time here. They're trailing by four. 24 seconds left in the fourth. Fans allowed to set to get free t-shirts. Let's see who's allowed it. Ladies and gentlemen, you are not signed. Four seconds left to play here in the fourth. Back to LeBron. Good! And he has brought them to within two points. That is world class. Incredible shot with everything on the line coming through for his team. And now an intentional foul. They need the ball back as soon as possible. No choice but to foul there, but he's probably the last guy you want to see on the line. He's always been a tremendous defender, in my opinion, and he knows he's going to knock down his free throws. But now Fred Van Vliet has emerged as a terrific all-around scorer. He can pretty much do it all. Westbrook passes to Reeves. Puts up a three. Westbrook, no good. And there's the intentional foul. No choice but to stop the clock. He That's had to foul and on that occasion to stop the clock. That's the enemy. In this situation, at the line for your record. So the first one drops, Fred and that puts them up by five. At the line for two. And so both free throws are good. And it's a six point ball game. And that's a wrap. Those free throws being the nail in the coffin. And so it's Toronto winning this one. It was up for grabs right until the final seconds. Yeah, and to me, Kevin, what stood out is just the, the overall trust this group has in one another when it matters most. Doing what had to be done and to send these fans home happy.